Trace and this is D News and this guy, he is so cute. Look at this guy. He's also deadly, so stay away. But look how cute. <laughs> so adorable. So this is the slow Laura. Scientists have just discovered three new species of it down in Borneo and you've probably seen pictures of it before. Those big brown eyes are hard to miss. And it may be just a little guy, but uh, it packs quite the punch. So the slow loris is an endangered nocturnal primate. So it uses its nose a lot more than those big brown eyes. And on the inside of its arm, it has something called a brachial gland. The brachial gland, they think, spreads its scent to mark its territory and talk to other slow lorises. So it licks it a lot. And when it licks it, it gets this stuff on its teeth and in its mouth. And then if it bites you, that stuff gets in your bloodstream and causes all sorts of problems. Slow loris venom has been known to cause anaphylactic shock, but it's not really venom necessarily. It's more of a concentrated form of the allergen that causes us to react to cats. So if you're allergic to cats, stay away from the slow loris next time you're in Borneo. These are the only venomous primates that we know of, but there are other cute little venomous mammals, like, for example, the platypus. Yeah, that's right, the platypus, one of nature's strangest creatures. It's a combination of like an otter and a duck and a beaver. It's uh, a mammal, but it lays eggs. It produces milk, but it's got no nipples. It uh, can sense the electrical contractions of your muscles. It's, it's, it's like the craziest animal ever. And it also has a poisonous barb on its back foot. Only the male has the barb and the venom excreted by it contains over 80 toxins, which is enough to kill small animals. And while it won't kill humans, it will cause excruciating pain that has been known to essentially induce paralysis. Whoa. These are just a few of the cute venomous mammals. There are also some species of shrew or bat or mole. Nature helps animals defend themselves in a variety of different ways and venom is one of the worst. It's nature's ultimate, don't mess with me, man. So back to the slow loris and humans, their cuteness has kind of been their downfall. People want to keep them as pets, but they don't really want the inconvenience of potential death. So they pull out their sharp teeth and that's really cruel and sad. So just look at the pictures of the slow loris. People don't, don't take them home, no touching. So what's your favorite venomous animal? Let us know in the comments. Like I said, mine is the platypus. It's such a crazy animal. And don't forget to subscribe to D News so you can get our three videos every day. We're dedicating one video a day this week to the apocalypse because it's the end of the world. So don't miss it. Keep calm, watch D News. Thanks for checking us out. Don't get venomed.